I guess you'll have to settle for Wiener Wallies. Huh, I'll never eat at Wallies. He's the guy who put the worst in Bratwurst. Yuck. <sighs> I've got it. I'll buy your cart. Okay, but you know it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Hmm. Aha. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Plenty of room. Wow, a heated pool. I'll take it. Hmm, what's this going on here? <sighs> I've forgotten more about selling Wieners than that boot hacker will ever know. Oh, eh, I would like to buy a hot dog, please. Coming right up. One for you, and one for me. <laughs> okay, so that's just one customer. And that's one too many. Hey, mister, can I get a dog, please? That's one for you, and two for me. Zwerg, <laughs> that does it. My corner, Bootpecker! You know, I get the distinct feeling someone doesn't want me around. Moo -do 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 -do. Come back soon. Yeah. Over here! Over here! I've got just one thing to say. That's my corner! <laughs> that should fix that woodpecker, you bet. <laughs> Why for you bury me, wiener boy? Guess who? <laughs> you want a vinivor? You got a vinivor, woodpecker! You'll never sell hot dogs on my corner, wiener boy! <laughs> <laughs> I've got you now. <laughs> 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 
say, this is the best hot dog mix I've ever tasted. Oh, my aching meatball. You, you woodpecker, look what you done. I'll get you! Boys, boys, break it up! With your new hot dog mix and my investment capital, we can make millions! Where do we sign? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm the boss. Will I get my hands on you? You come no, here, you, you. I'm the boss, and I say no work today! Oh, boy! Woo! You little tube steak terrorist! You won't ruin my chance to make millions! Ah, go on with you! Give me your best shot! Bet you can't hit me with hot dogs! Oh, yeah? Then take that! And that! And those! And those too! You bet! <laughs> hey! If we're gonna be partners, you're gonna have to work faster than that, wiener boy! <laughs> <laughs> it's the new improved, not recently sued, Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000. So hot, it can cook breakfast in bed. Breakfast not included. Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000, not to be used by the sick, elderly, pregnant, bipedal, etc., 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 etc. Do you look good in floral print shirts and harem pants? Sure we all do. So why not warm yourself on the most beautiful beaches in the world? Visit these tropical islands. You can hang ten or dive for pearls. The local government won't let you keep anything you find. But it's just good, clean fun to hold your breath till your lungs almost burst and then get the vents from coming up too fast. The islands are a perfect place to return to your primal self. Explore. Stuff your belly, then sit back and let the UV rays saturate your brain. Get that golden brown tan you've always wanted. You'll be looking good and living life the tropical way. Still not hot enough? Substitute, here's a tip. All you need to make this into a succulent meal is one ingredient. Finally, I can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is... Hmm, peculiar little character. <laughs> Finally uncovers the plot to sink Bowen Island. Diane, the madman behind all of this is. <laughs> that boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula. A wiki, 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 wiki. <laughs> Huh? Such a polite little fella. 
Hold on just an ice picking minute. Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. Oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Sakes alive. They just don't make them winter pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? The Tropical and Tropical, Infodancing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist? Professor Smith, do UFOs exist? As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you. It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71. And the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. <laughs> No excuses, Woody. You're way behind in your pecking. I'll be back later to check up on you. Now get pecking, pecking, pecking. Oh, no. I'm 5,000 pickles behind. She'll demote me to a chigger this time for sure. Unless... This here's the Uber Termite, genetically created in my lab for... Apparently, for efficiency and ferocity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I call him Lester. What are you looking at, you red coated pig farmer? Oh boy, I'll take him. All right, Lester. Go on out there and put some holes in those trees before Mother Nature gets here. Holes? Holes are for golfers and lose the woodpecking. <laughs> you had better start cooperating, mister, or else. No, not the smelly shoe! I only want holes in the 
the trees, not the whole tree gone. Oh, what are you, my father? If he keeps this up, I won't have a forest for Mother Nature to inspect. Uh-uh-uh. Here you go. This will help you make little teeny pecking holes, like a woodpecker. Now, the only sound I want to hear is this. Yes, sir. That little guy is going to make my life so easy. I said, little teeny pecks, like a woodpecker. Learn from the master. First, pick out a tasty spot. Next, aim. Then do what woodpeckers do a best. Junior's got a bad attitude. I can see I'm going to have to keep you on a short leash. A little peck, then move on. Now a peck of that tree. And take a peck of that one. A fight might a termite bite if a termite could not bite. Paint is just the ticket. I'll trick that termite out of here. Then I'll paint the forest back before Mother Nature even gets here. Nice job, Picasso, but the uh, where's your house? My what? Huh? What? Hmm. Why it's right over here. Thanks, big guy. Now into your room. You're not my father, so you can't tell me what to do. Enough already! I'm taking you back. Ah, phooey! That little termite you sold me is a... a monster! Now I need something that'll grow trees. Fast! These vigor growth seeds should do the trick. Okay, that does it. Lester? Dad? Lester, what are you doing to that nice woodpecker's trees? Uh, he said that I did the holes, the trees with the doctor and the thing. Get home, now! <laughs> 6,607, 6,608? Well, it looks like that little woodpecker finally did some work. But you, Mr. Termite? Why haven't you met your quota? I... No excuses! Start munching that bark, or I'll demote you to a chicken! Now! But I'm... Let's move it, move it, move it! I 
I mean it, you loafer. Please listen. Get busy. Wait, I'm not who you think. Let me explain. You know, this life of leisure is wearing me down. What I need is a vacation. Hello, travel agency? I'd like to book a vacation, preferably somewhere warm. I've saved my whole life for this trip, so money is no object. You heard me, a nice long holiday. What a swell setup. Hello, friend. You look like you could use a vacation. Who are you? Boink Buzzy, traveling vacation salesman. Glad to know ya, chum. Glad to know ya. Yes, sir. You have just won a free vacation to the Joyman Polynesian Islands. With a one-time processing fee of $5,000, you will be well on your way to the island vacation of your dreams. Hmm. German Polynesian, eh? Well, how come I never heard of them? Why, well, you... Uh, that's because... Uh, it's an island, and they don't have any phones. It, it keeps away the riffraff. How quaintly rustic. Well, I have to think about it. There'll be girls, sport. Ah, oh, go on with you. Not just any girls, chum. Hula frows. Hula frows? What's a hula frow? <laughs> There's just the business of the five grand. Then you're good to go. Hula frows, here I come. Okay, let's get this crate off the ground. Hey! Please don't annoy the pilot there in take off. This I gotta see. Contact! <laughs> Buzz to ground control. We are experiencing turbulence. Mayday! Mayday! Geronimo! Join us now for thrilling tropical high dive spear fishing in our exotic fish tank. So long, sucker! Look what I caught! Oh, swell. And guess what? For a hundred bucks more, those can be cooked up in a customized culinary concoction by our very own Chef F.E. New. Chef F.E. New? Yeah, if he knew you were coming, he'd have baked a cake. Hmm. Hey, you. Where's this so-called luau? What luau? This luau. The one with the hula frows. Right this way, my good fella. <laughs> Hula frows. <laughs> so long, sap. <laughs> nah, that's silly. <laughs> Surf's up, Wahini Schnitzel. <laughs> What's going on in there? Sorry, invitation only. Oh boy, 
the song, the thrills, the hula frows. What a luau! And I owe it all to you, pal. This is the best vacation I've ever had in my life. Wait a minute. There ain't no luau. There ain't no vacation. And I'll prove it. But... I'm taking over this vacation. Oh, yeah? Well, I paid for it. There's your money back. Deal's warped. Now get lost. I'll report you to the German Polynesian Travel Bureau. German Polynesian? <laughs> you go ahead and do that, chum. I made it all up. There ain't no such a thing. <laughs> German Polynesian Travel Bureau? I'd like to report someone. Yo! Yeah, some buzzard tried to sell me a scam vacation. Hula froze here, I come. Crowbar, Jack, the, the dynamite. What am I gonna get next? How about five to ten in the pokey? No! <laughs> Dr. Rachel, I, I can't hide it anymore. I think it's time I told you how I feel about you. Tune in next week to see the dramatic conclusion on Woodpeck ER. Wow! The medical field is so exciting. The action, the drama. Nurse Winnie to emergency. No, Dr. Winnie to brain sir. No, no, Chief of Staff Winnie to the OR. Stat! I'm gonna find out about a career in medicine today. Uh, but, boss, I'm so close. All I need is a proper subject to clone. Well, don't worry, boss. I'm on top of it. Yeah, I'm a dead man. If I don't find a subject to clone right away, I'm washed up. Finished! Where, oh, where will I find a volunteer? Huh? Hi! I want to work here. What are the odds? It's Winnie Woodpecker, and I'd like to become... That's fine, that's fine. If you'll just step into my lab, we'll run a few tests. <laughs> All right, listen up. This is a precise scientific instrument designed for only one purpose. Of course, <clears throat> I wouldn't expect a layman to understand. Why, no, sir. How could a layman be expected to know about a linear instrument designed to test the effect of the harmonic resonance on the rhombic area with an emphasis on the cordial nerve group? All right, then, let's get started. Huh? Hmm. Oh? Oh. oh, doctor, my first medical emergency. Oh. Test complete, Doc. Am I ready to work in the ER? Uh, let's move on to another test, shall we? This test will measure your brain activity and IQ. Please answer all my questions as quickly as possible. Ready? Ready! What is two plus two? Four. What's the definition of plethora? A lot. What is mitosis? The division of a cell nucleus. What is the, the Ptolemaic system? system. Of Ptolemy in which the Earth is at the center of the universe. How did you get that so fast? Is this giving you the answers? Give me that. Now, ask me a question. Go ahead, ask me. Mm, what does that lever do? This lever. <laughs> Doctor, this will be perfect training if 
I decide to go into the physical therapy department. Just keep running. I have to find out if you're a good enough subject to clone. What did you say? I, 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 I said phone, phone. I have to test your hearing on the phone. Just get behind the machine. All right, Winnie, this should be painless. Winnie! Oh, I knew I should have finished medical school. Huh? I'm ready for my close-up, Doctor. <gasps> I, 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 I exam. That's it. I exam. Please read the top line. You. No, you read it. I? <sighs> yes, you. Now go ahead. Why? Because I said, okay? Okay. Oh, never mind. Let's do a cat scan and see what's going on in that head of yours. Oh, no, doctor. I'm allergic to cats. There's no cat here. That's just what it's called. A cat scan. But I sneeze, swell up, and itch all over. Look, CAT stands for Computer Axial Tomography. There is no feline in this machine. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Doctor, now that you see I can handle any emergency situation that arises, what department will I be working in? Emergency room? EDR? Recovery? Operating theater? Whatever we do had better be in a hurry. <laughs> After all, my time is valuable and uh... Nothing! Nowhere! <gasps> I want you out of this hospital! Well, I'm not so sure I even want to work in a hospital that has the likes of you on the staff. Harsh words, but a doctor has to assert herself. I'm going all the way to the top, Doctor. That's not the elevator! Oh, I'll be blamed for everything! I gotta get out of here! Oh, no you don't, Doctor! You're not well enough to leave our care! Doctor Winnie Woodpecker, meet Nurse Winnie in the OR! Ah! Hello, Nurse Winnie! Who's your friend? He doesn't look well. Right this way, Daddy Boy. <laughs> in order to work in a hospital, you've got to have patience. season. Just me, the TV, and all the snacks I can eat. Yes, it's a great day for an exciting game of badminton. They got the bad part right. Hey, it's a fine day for the healing games. I love the healing games. Better stock up on some more munchies. Now, where are my haggis-flavored pork rinds? This concludes our free preview. If you want to see the Halo games, call your local cable service and pay up today. No! Me Halo games! <laughs> the 
Congratulations, Mr. Walrus. You're an official cable subscriber. Yippee dippy. I uh, get a bonus for any referrals, Mr. Walrus. Maybe you could have some friends over to enjoy the Highland Games. Did you say Highland Games? <laughs> No Highland games for me. Just the Swedish channel, yeah. Hey, buddy, can you put your cable on sale for a true Scottish patriot? The Highland games are the pride of me people. Wait, I've watched them since I was a wee scrapper of a twig pecker. No discounts on my watch, Red. You pay full price like everybody else. Only two hours till the games. And I can't afford full price. I need cable. Oh, yoy. The Swedish channel. Hmm? Excuse me, Mr. Walrus, but we forgot one crucial part of your cable. The black box. All righty then, Mr. W. We'll phone you from the cable office. You tell us when your parabolic receiver is giving you the best reception. Hello? Okay, Mr. W. I just need you to scan through the channels and stop on 47. Stop right there. And uh, could you turn up the volume? Now don't move for, say, oh, a week while we make some very technical adjustments. Just doing a service check, Mr. Walrus. How's your cable service going, huh? The cable's still not coming in. What? Just, uh, <laughs> sampling. Woodpecker! It's a federal offense to impersonate a man of the cable. I'll be keeping a sharp eye on you, Red. That cable service is licensed to Mr. Walrus's TV and his TV only. Hmm. If the cable's wired to Wally's TV, that's just okie dokie with me. <laughs> Yeah. Neighbors should share and share alike. Welcome to the Swedish Channel's Cooking with Meatballs, followed by the hit game show, Oh Boy, Who Wants a Green Card? <laughs> Today's recipe is entitled Cooking with Plutonium. We will make the average wiener dog into the uber wiener dog. First, we must boil the water, but not just any water. Swedish Fjord Wild Water. Available for a short time only to use Swedish Channel viewers for only $30 a month. Call the number on your screen and order now. Now, pour two cups of Swedish Fjord Water into the pan and bring it to a bowl. Next, Ooh, look! The alphabet's in my super spelling out a message. Don't hit the good-looking woodpecker. Such flavorful yoy from such a small I've gotta watch the games. Wait a minute. The cable is registered to Wally, so the cable can only be watched in Wally's house. Not a problem. <laughs> hmm, this is odd. <laughs> Today's simulcast will cover all sorts of events from the. This is yours. <laughs> 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 Forget cable. Satellite is the best reception on the planet. Three, two, one. And the best part is, it's free. <laughs> now I'll never get to watch the Highland Games. You're under arrest for violation of airspace, violation of international satellite treaties, violation of local and federal zoning laws, and for generally having an all-out bad idea. You can't arrest me. I can't, but he can. Oh, boy. We get the Highland Games. 
games. The only games in here are chess by mail and a little diversion the boys call, hey, what are you staring at? Now for my version of what are you staring at, the Highland Games. <laughs> Could you at least turn up the volume? Sail the seas. See the world. Free grub? Oh boy, that's for me. Mm -mm. So, where's all the grub? Waits for me. You got the wrong sailor. <laughs> Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line. Okey? Yeah. Corky? Hello. Thompson? Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson! <laughs> Someone cut and read what calls your name, Thompson? Hold on, I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up in the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sealing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? I sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got two good ones that both left, unfortunately. He's not a pirate, Captain. <coughs> no, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Right, 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 we got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not as such, no. no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! But I've already got feathers. No. Ah, and we don't have no tar. Take him to the rack! Yay! Tie him to the rack! Aw, oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! We'll have him walk the plank! The plank! The plank! The plank! All righty. Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick at woodpecker. <laughs> Look. Ooh, pretty. Uh, 
ready to a skull and crossbones. Ah, ah there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh, what's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about we have a mutiny party? Mutiny, mutiny, mutiny! Oh, I love a good mutiny, Arthur! No, why you? You'll pay for this! All right, swamis. I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure. Boy, free grab, smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! The pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally. They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker. No! Wait! Oh, no, not again. Oh, boy, business stinks. <sighs> Winnie's salon is killing my wig shop, Con. I gotta get me some high customers. Oh, a day of beauty. Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give them a shampoo that'll make them wig out for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. <laughs> Is everything all 
right? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just uh, fine. Uh, you just relax now. May I look in the mirror? Can I have a look, too? experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yo-ho, oh Winnie. Huh, she must have left. All the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait! I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit! Caught in the act! All this in the name of dirty wig money! <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it! Go on, pretty boy! Shut up! and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Mother Nature! Ah, uh, I'm not here! Oh, yes, you are! You can't fool Mother Nature! <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. <laughs> Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to Woodpecker. Do a good job as a pigeon, 
and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you. Uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going! Oh, I see. First day, and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers, or I'll see you never get a promotion back to a uh, woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues! I knew you were a slacker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Hey, but you ain't uh, how did you... Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. You're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good for nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! This was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. <laughs> it sure is heavy. <sighs> What took you so long, Mac? You did. But, uh, you're up to something, woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon! Apparently, we have some competition from these guys. You are swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon! Step right up, free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up, free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along, no shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Woody, you've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something! Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug, how about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. 
Mother Nature. Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to pack. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo! Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations! You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, woodpecker. I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second. 